What's going on Vape Nation? Job 131 Vapes is back and today we're also doing a review on the SXK Big Block 454 clone RDA. Uh, obviously it's a dripper. Now what we'll do is what I normally do. We'll go into the zoomed in view and then I'll vape it and I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like. So keep watching. All right, here we are in a zoomed in view for the SXK454 Big Block uh, RDA. As you can see, this is the box. Atomizer, no smoke, whatever, one set. And then you open it up, and then you get the atomizer. Obviously, I opened this to clean it. I haven't actually put a build on yet, but whatever. So, yeah. The dripper actually came in this plastic. So uh, you actually get the screwdriver, and, um, four pre wrap coils, four screws, and you would have got three O-rings, but one of the O-rings got chewed up when I was taking it apart and putting it back together. As you can see, it got cut up. So I had to actually use one. So keep that in mind. And then you get your 454. All right. It looks okay. Logo list, or there's no logo on it, uh, as I believe the original doesn't have anything there. So we'll take it apart and we'll go over it piece by piece. All right. So we'll take a look at it piece by piece. First, we'll start with the drip tip. As you can see, plastic or Delrin with a I guess stainless steel cap on the top or. bore is pretty wide and it tapers in you have some your draw doesn't go completely through as you can see it has those two holes machining is a little bit rough you can see that I believe it's a plastic shred in there I gotta clean that out some more move on to the I guess the main cap you got your heat fins here on top. Machining looks all right, and you have your different air hole options for the quad or four air holes or dual air hole option. Sizes look to be pretty much all the same, I believe. Maybe these ones. This this one's pretty big, or roughly about. Two, two and a half millimeter each. Look at it on the inside. Sheeting's okay on the inside of this part. It's not bad, as you can see. No real issue. Concaves in on the top a little bit. Next, you have your air, airflow control ring. And you have your different air options for the four or the quad air hole. Machining on these holes look a little bit rough to me. As you can see, more oval than actually circular. And also on the inside you can see there's like scratches. Okay, so I mean that's not really a good thing. So this is over here is an O-ring. This is the one that uh, I showed you that got cut when I was putting to, putting it together. So I had to replace it. It's that one black O-ring right there. And you can see that. So I had to replace that piece. Next you have <clears throat> your negative post or negative uh, clamp down. There's four screws and it basically goes over here and you tighten everything up different kind of uh, build um, property or whatever but we'll see how that works out and then finally you have your base again machining is a little bit rough you can see on the base over here but it should work still so you have your 
four negatives and your positive post in the middle you'll notice first thing I noticed these holes don't really line up I'm not too sure if they should we'll see how it goes on the build but I mean look at this one over here so it's probably gonna go like here and here and I mean if it, that's the way it's supposed to be that's the way it's supposed to be I figured they might line up actually but they don't as you can see but that might be the way it's supposed to be built so we'll, we'll check it out flip it over or actually on the side you have your two o-rings two o-rings on the side and then you flip it over made in the USA I think not but uh, you have your copper 510 pin your, your logo and 454 so yeah to put it together again you take that and then you take your screws so the, that's how you do it with the base you put your negatives through here, wrap it around and you clamp it down and put the screws through take that and just stick it together put your, put your drip tip in and then slap it together so that is that that's a 454 uh, after this you'll see a build or uh, you'll see a picture of the build and uh, yeah after that we'll vape it and I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like so keep watching alright so this is the build that I have on the 454 four vertical coils I'm actually using a mix of 26 226 gauge and 228 gauge coils uh, vertically I believe the 28 gauge it's like 10 wraps or no maybe 8 wraps and that 26 is 8 wraps as well seems to put out pretty good though I mean it's not bad as you can see but uh, one thing I forgot to mention that's a negative about this as well don't mind my dog is uh you can see the drip tip even though I push it all the way in it always seems to pop out and you see that little gap I mean there's a double o-ring here and I keep pushing it back in but then you st still kind of pops out so it doesn't sit completely flush so that's just something to take note of alrighty Alright, so that was a zoomed in view for the 454 big block from SXK, the clone. What I like about this, um, first of all, uh, I like the fact that it has two air hole and four air hole adjustability. That's always nice. Um, I currently have four vertical coils in here, and I never thought I'd say this, but with the four air holes fully open it I find it's too airy for me which is again I never thought I'd say that but yeah I find that the vape is the vape like the flavor the vape is better uh, when it's just two air holes open but that's just my opinion um, I definitely like the look of it uh, even though I don't have the, the standard drip tip that came with it but again it came with a drip tip so that's always a plus as well but I, I do like the look of it What I don't like, um, well, you saw from the zoomed in view, there was some, you know, the machining on it was a little bit, you know, you got um, some of the air holes and stuff. Excuse me, it was scratched on the inside, and so that was kind of weak. Um, also, the fact that, you know, when I first got it, the inner O ring, it was, it got cut up easily, so 
I, I had to replace it almost immediately so that's definitely a negative but the vape on it is it's definitely pretty good I like it the question is would I buy this well yeah I bought it uh, I actually picked this up for $28 Canadian from Camary 101 on whackedoutesig.ca or check his Facebook Camary Vapes. Um, yeah, $28 I think it's a pretty good deal. I mean it comes with a drip tip. The look of it is pretty nice. Two and four hole air, two and four air hole adjustability, uh, build quality. It's not the best but it's definitely not the worst. There's a little bit r some rough spots but overall ease of build was pretty good oh actually one negative that I forgot to put my center post I don't know if it was built like that but again you saw from the zoomed in view that the center center post the holes weren't lined up uh, properly or you know in line with the uh, negative uh, terminals or negative posts not post but negative screws I guess but I don't know if it's just because you could put the negative anywhere on that ring really but eh, that's just my opinion. But uh, yeah, so I would pick this up again. I mean, it's not bad. The vape's pretty good. And again, all the pluses kind of outweigh the minuses for me. For $28, that's not a bad price for a clone. Um, but yeah, other than that, this is Job 131 Vapes saying keep your wicks wet and thanks for watching.